Hey guys, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we are going to learn a simple tip uh, of using Git. So if you have been uh, using Git and you have been doing Git pull all the time, whenever you have to pull your code from the remote or you want to sync your code um, uh, with your remote or with your local, then you are going to get stuck one day in a bad situation and you will uh, then you will uh, search for the solution. Hey, how can I solve this? So let me just replicate that scenario uh, in my system and then let's see how to fix that or how to always follow this method so that you would never stuck into that situation. So first of all, this is a repository. This is a, a folder uh, which has certain files. Uh, it is a simple fast API code, so don't worry about that. But this is a simple uh, uh, like folder which has some files. And this is the repository which is on remote. This is a simple Git repository and all the files are in sync. So you can see this is the latest commit on remote 5 F92 DCAC. And if you see over here, uh, Git log, if I just do, you can see this is the same uh, commit, right? Uh, now over here, if you go to this uh, GitHub uh, VS Code extension also, you can see that I am on the same commit. So currently remote and local are in sync, okay? But now let's say someone else is, uh, is on the same branch, uh, the main branch or any other branch, and he also uh, is working on that branch and he pushed something. Ideally, he should be creating his own, his or her own branch, but let's say uh, he pushed something on that branch, right? So for that, uh, what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to right now uh, open this requirement.txt. Uh, and for now, because I'm the only user, I'm doing it directly on this GitHub repository, remote, uh, remote repository. But let's say in real scenario, someone else on their local made some changes and pushed it. So what will happen? The commit uh, number uh, or the hash on this remote will be changed, right? So let's say over here, I add another uh, requirement, let's say Python dot env. Okay, let's say this package or dependency I added and I commit the changes and I click on commit changes. So now what will happen uh, if I go back to the code, you will see that the commit hash is now changed. That means remote and local are not in sync. But as a local user over here, I don't know anything. Uh, it, it just came over here, but uh, my local, I have not yet done git pull or anything, right? So I'm on a different commit right now. Now let's say I'm uh, I'm being unaware about the fact that the remote has changed. I also went on requirement.txt or readme.md and made some changes to uh, any of the files. Let's say I added another route over here. Right, I came over here and I added another route uh, update item one. Anything, right? Anything I did, and now I want to like push this to remote, but they are on the different versions, right? So now if I try to do it, so I say get. Uh, I'll first of all do get status. You can see I'm behind, so I'm going to say get add this. So this is done. Now I'm going to commit. So did get commit. I'll write a message uh added added a new route right i hit enter i'm going to sign this and you can see uh commit is done so now i'm going to push it so git push origin origin main right now once i do that you can see i am not able to push it why because uh, this is the issue updates were rejected because the tip of your current branch is behind the actual the remote branch right so i'm behind that so what can i do in this case right i'm behind the remote changes so one thing is i can just go and uncommit my changes uh, then i am then what you're going to do is you're going to say git pull so in that case what will happen yes you are going to get in sync with the remote repository but a new commit will be created first of all it is going to get in sync with the remote repository then you're going to commit your changes so a new commit will be created so this is going to create an issue right because uh, you are creating new commits uh, every time you are uh, behind your uh, remote branch. So we have a better way. So what you can do is every time uh, instead of first of all making a git pull and then adding your changes, you can just say uh, it's okay if you have uh, if you and your remote repository are not saying instead of doing git pull, you always say git pull rebase. So in this scenario, what will happen? It will not try to create a new commit it will actually attach the remote commit first and then add your commit on top of it. You will have C1, the previous commit which we had like FC, whatever it was, and then it will add the remote 
commit this is the remote commit and then these two are in sync now then the local commit that you had the local changes that you did it will be added like this so now they are all in sync but previously what was happening uh, you had c1 and then you had c2 which is your remote config uh, sorry remote commit and it was attaching these two and then you had like c3 which was a local and like this you were on a new commit so new commit was getting created so every time uh, you are not in you are behind your remote branch so again it is going to uh, merge your it is going to pull your remote changes and then it is going to create a new commit so that's this was like making it more complicated so we can ignore this and we can just stick to it where you just say git pull and with that you also say rebase so that it rebases your branch with the remote changes and then adds your local commit and everything is in sync so if i just over here and you will say that okay but let's say uh, in the remote uh, file also we made the changes to the same file let's say in the requirement of txt itself on the same uh, line i would have made the local changes then in that case you will get a merge conflict okay so in that case when you when you get a remote con like if i just do it let me just show you so if i just say git pull dash rebase because there is no uh, merge conflict you see it brought my remote changes and it also added my local changes and everything in sync but now let's say if i just go back so in this case what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to requirement.txt i'll again make a remote change let's say this time i add open ai let's say anything i commit the changes right and over here uh, without doing git pull i go back to requirement.txt and in that line number 5 itself i add i added gemini even if i do git pull rebase i'm going to get a merge conflict because i made the change to the same file and to the same line number right so if i say git pull dash dash rebase uh, git pull with the rebase you have unstaged changes okay so i did not uh, stage so i say git add dot i say git commit uh i say updated requirements right and now if i say git push origin uh main first of all it is not going to do it and if i say git pull dash dash rebase it is going to create a merge conflict you see i got a merge conflict so either you uh solve them right over here or you can ignore it you can abort it so i can say git rebase hyphen hyphen abort so you see my changes are now removed like the uh, rebase is aborted and as you usually solve the merge conflicts first so you do those and then you push to your remote so this is a simple tip so instead of doing git pull all the time you should do git pull rebase all the time and if you get merge conflict solve them and then push it so i hope you learned something new till the next video keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot